Welcome everyone. We're speaking with Danny Quirk today from Danny Quirk Art. You can find Danny Quirk Art on Facebook and you will see the amazing work that he does painting people uh, as well as uh, another side of his personality and another side of his work that uh, looks into the armed services and return service people. Uh, but firstly, I'd like to welcome Danny Quirk. Hi Danny, how are you going? Yeah, not too bad. How about yourself? Fantastic, Danny. Thank you very much for being on today. Oh, no problem. Thanks, Thanks for taking time out of your schedule. I think the first thing we need to speak about is your latest work called 22. That's okay. caused a lot of controversy uh, around the world and has caused you to be pushed into the limelight to a large extent. Can you tell us what the work is and what the work was aimed at doing and why you seem to be in some hot water with it? <laughs> it seems to be a very polarized topic when I'm on. But it's the same. I come from a very long line of military history and whatnot, but I, I myself never actually enlisted. But uh, I do, it's, it's a very recurring theme in my work and whatnot. So uh, the whole the whole premise between, behind the piece, my senior year, I did a lot of work with uh, with military service, with like, a lot of, like, uh, maybe with, with Marines predominantly, but then did some work with kind of soldiers and whatnot. And I uh, wanted to create a body of work that basically showed war from the soldier's perspective versus the glorified propaganda-filled media side. Um, I mean, I can go on record and I guess kind of from like last trip out to Australia and whatnot, a lot of people seem to kind of agree and whatnot, like don't support these wars whatsoever. I think it's just senseless killing, senseless, like we, we aren't really accomplishing much of anything. And uh, so I, I just kind of want to paint and create work that's from the, the troops perspective versus, you know, what the, the media is kind of saying and whatnot, um, kind of forcing people to really think about war versus think about what's happening. So uh the piece that was made up fairly recently, 22, basically wanted to make a piece that personified the suicides. Um, not sure what the stats are out in Australia or anything, but here in the U.S. at least, we have an average of about 22 suicides uh, among vets per day. So basically took a piece uh, incorporating the American flag, and the concept behind the piece was uh, every time a uh, troop kills himself, uh, America loses a part of itself. So following among the myths of suicide and whatnot, I'm just, just realizing how... Uh, uplifting this this piece is right now um but no but it, you know ended up uh ended up putting 22 holes in an american flag and basically it was to symbolize the 22 suicides that take place per day um the piece was made to be a little controversial to get people talking um a lot of it was kind of a social experiment on my end to see how how people would react and went out what would offend them more the fact that 22 of our you know beloved service members are committing suicide on a daily basis with the fact that, uh, in essence, uh, 22 holes were put in a piece of fabric. And I mean, obviously there, there's, there's uh, symbolism behind the fabric, so on and so forth, but uh, I just found it to be interesting that more people, well, the people who got offended, they were more so offended by the notion of that a flag was defaced versus uh, the cause it was, it was kind of standing up for. But the, the irony behind everything was uh, combat uh, vets, like troops, like service members, like a plot of the piece, like people who are suffering with uh, PTSD or suffering with uh, thoughts of suicide, a plot of the piece, like No Tomorrow, had a few requests from people to make me uh, to, to make them versions of those flags so, so, so that they could fly them and whatnot because they felt that it was more of a proper portrait of America at this time versus, uh, versus some of the time, at least in terms of how... Uh, we view our, our uh, broken soldiers and whatnot, you know, the ones with PTSD, the ones with uh, suicidal thoughts, so on and so forth. But yeah, I mean, it, it, it certainly got a lot of people talking, which totally happy about. Um, I think a lot of times, like as, as an artist these days and whatnot, half the work is just in your talent, the, the, the like talent, uh, technical skills, so on and so forth. The other half is uh, how you can move people, how you can get them to think, how you can get them to actually like ponder and whatnot so <laughs> yes we've certainly done that there's no doubt about that and i see you've been even getting requests for shirts uh, as well like t-shirts and things and other memorabilia <laughs> around the piece which is uh, phenomenal i mean that's to a large extent what art is to get people to think about things that they ordinarily wouldn't think about and you've done that so kudos to you uh, well, thank you. for that uh, it's uh not being from the u.s myself i was still moved by it and it made me reflect on what these people are doing and as you said, it's bordering on absurd that these servicemen are taking their lives, protecting well, that flag, but the yeah. people sending you death threats as well yeah, uh, and are the ones... Yeah, getting, getting a few of those, so... <laughs> it's absurd. It's, these are the people that protected that flag so people could speak about it freely. Yeah. And, well, uh, the, the people who were sending death threats had no military service, had no background or anything. They were, they were the very, uh, I guess you could say, the, like, the church-going patriots, you know, where, uh, you know, they beat their chest hardly and whatnot, but uh, 
you know, it's, it's, it's one of those kind of things. Uh, but, uh, but no, a lot of people wanted, you know, they're like, well, maybe you should have just made a painting and then like shot up the painting or shot up the whatever else. But the, I mean, I, I see a lot of, I mean, I follow a lot of military groups, a lot of stuff, a lot of things, you know, they have a picture of, you know, a person who committed suicide in their hat, like a photo from their happiest day, you know, when they were, they were nice and happy. In essence, you see an image of a happy person, you kind of read what happens, but it doesn't really phase you too much. Mm. So I figured by using the flag, using something that everybody can connect to and relate to, it mm. brings that pain home and it makes them really think like they've been impacted by it. Mm. So, because I mean, on average, like, I mean, we have like 22 vets who are killing themselves per day, like, uh, that that's a whole lot more than uh terrorist organizations are that kind of stuff so oh. so it's but it, it's it's one of those things where like i mean I, i've seen how many people have kind of just been damaged by war and how many people have been broken by it like in in the prime of their lives and it's 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 just a shame that there's more of an effort to keep that war machine going versus you know seeking means of kind of breaking that and stopping that you know like but through through creating work you know that gets people thinking through work that gets people you know kind of like doing something different versus uh just passively accepting things and all that junk so it's just scary though because like uh i mean like some just really good friends from high school went out there just they're exoskeletons of who they used to be pretty much like they, they they get by on like drug cocktails every morning and that's pretty much it and like that's how we're 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 appreciating our vets and like you know commemorating our vets by by giving them like a cocktail of pills and like having them shooing them along their way and whatnot you know to to create the next generation of, of broken men and women you know so oh, it's, a, it's, it's an absolute disgrace uh, it's, it's 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 really too bad and it, it's breeding ignorance about various religions it's breeding ignorance about certain types of people and like I mean I I'm not one to hate like not one to like cause ill will on people but like I guess my stance is like if you're if if you're gonna hate somebody hate them for who they are not what they are so like <laughs> at, at, at least at, at, at least take the time to get to know them before you form these opinions on them you know so <laughs> because it's kind of the objective in the work though there too so I mean like I'm even though I'm kind of quiet kind of shy like I am very vocal on my stances and my opinions mm-hmm. and. Uh, like, I, I, I'd much rather, you know, just, like, even, like, in terms of artwork or something, when friends are asking me about artwork and, like, what I think of it, if I don't like it, I'll tell them I don't like it. Like, if it doesn't work, I'll tell them it doesn't work because my stance is, like, I'd rather have them working on things that fix the issue versus keeping a problem alive. Yes. So, like, uh, and, like, I mean, you know, some people write it off as, you know, kind of being a prick or being that kind of stuff, but, I mean, I I mean, I suppose, like, t- we'll take surgery, for example. You have to cut through things. You have to destroy things to make things better and whatnot. So, so in essence, a word that doesn't, like... Like, like a word or two, you know, that makes people kind of like feel bad or something, you know, in essence, is said to make people better and feel better, I guess, you know. So <laughs> with the work, you know, that kind of like that's more that's more controversial, that's more like not typical uh, discount store, you know, hang over your fireplace kind of work. Um, the objective is to get people thinking, to get people kind of like seeing things from a different perspective and like forming their own opinion versus uh, blindly going with what, what, what they've been told to accept and whatnot. So it's definitely kind of, kind of exciting though, you know, like just, you know, being able to see how people are responding to things and how people are reacting to things. So like, I mean, I obviously knew with, with that flag piece, some people would be upset, but I was, I was really happy that the vast majority of people supported it versus, you know, got upset by it. And like, uh, I mean, there were, there were reaming messages from like, you know, vets who were like, you know, like, thank you for actually supporting our cause, not giving us that empty, like, thank you for your service bullshit, you know, <laughs> like, yes, you know, yeah. like they're, they're just like, th- thank you for actually doing something that brings attention to a real cause, you know, versus, you know, just like not really addressing the issue or writing it off and checking out pictures of cats and whatever else on the <laughs> internet. <so. laughs> and like, uh, you know, some, some people who, you know, who've like worked with for the stuff, like they, 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 they really had some issues upon adjusting back to civilian life to the point where like they they've re-enlisted because they, they don't know how to deal with civilian life again. Mm. And it's, 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 it's just kind of sad though, you know, that, that like they've kind of been, become so broken that, you know, can't, can't really go back to what they were beforehand. The, the flag piece was a much more angry piece, I guess, than, than the other ones were. But uh, again, you know, sometimes like when something's not working, you have to get mad to fix it, I guess. So. Yeah, yeah, very much so. Yeah. And I mean, it's, it's, it's not saying in any way, shape or form that that's going to fix everything, but at the very least it's getting people talking, which is more than what was going on yesterday. So. <laughs> Yeah, like kind of, it's a bit, it's a slap across the face for some people, and it's, oh, yeah. uh, I think people will look at it and, and uh, go away and think about it, because, like, you know, it's, it's in your face. Exactly, exactly. And but my, my piece of flag, it, it brought that pain to home, and, like, made them, like, it forced them to think, because, like, it affected them, I guess. But it's, it's, it's kind of crazy, because, like, a, a lot of people have sent, uh, have made offers on that flag to purchase it. 
And I mean, I, I physically cannot sell it to keep the profits, but I, I'm really thinking of, uh, I'm going to be using that piece in a series afterwards, but uh, I, I really do want to auction that flag off afterwards and then donate it to like, we'll say maybe like 22 veteran charities or something like that, you know, like things where like everyone's kind of benefiting, you know, like the work's not being made for profit, but for getting people to kind of like talk, understand, appreciate the, the issue that needs to be addressed. But at the same time, you know, won't get more death threats for uh, <laughs> destroying a flag and uh <laughs> <laughs> I'd much rather see people avidly working to stop wars versus, uh, you know, dr dr drumming up and getting ready for the next one. So <laughs> it's one of those, like, you know, interesting kind of thoughts to ponder, like, what's actually killing more troops? What's actually killing more Americans, you know? Yeah. So it's, it's, it's just, you know, that, that kind of like, you know, uh, painting with thoughts, I guess, you know, creating work that gets people talking, thinking, you know, versus uh, enjoying pretty pictures, I guess. <laughs> yes. Oh, we'll certainly do that, and it certainly has done that. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's about time. And you are saying that uh, you've got your family's got a long military history and you haven't yourself was that a choice that you made at that time where you could see that it was a downward spiral in yeah. terms of yeah. enlisting yeah more or less. i mean it was one of those things where like my, my father was military he was 35 years of service in both marines and air force both grandfathers fought have uncles so like cousins who fought that kind of stuff and uh, I guess, like, at the time when 9-11 happened, I was uh, I was 12 when that happened. So, you know, I mean, I was all gung-ho and, like, you know, following father's footsteps, you know, being military, being whatever else. And, and you know, apologies if this talk is getting to be too political or anything, you know. But uh, when, you know, in essence, we were attacked by an organization that was found in, uh, found in Afghanistan and then we invaded Iraq and whatnot, it, it just didn't make too much sense. And I was just seeing, like, the, the amount of, like, it's just the amount of things that were happening, in essence, that, like, it just wasn't, it just seemed like a lot of things were adding up that really shouldn't have, I guess. Mm -hmm. So I figured I'd much rather take a stance and, like, make work that gets people talking, you know, versus, uh, you know, going over there. And, I mean, seeing as, like, the biggest injury out there, IED, so on and so forth, they, they don't really lend themselves too kindly to, to, too kindly to hands, which tend to be kind of needed to do what do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So I figured, uh, figured rather, uh, you know, paint guns, get people talking versus draw guns and uh, blow things up. So. <laughs>